All right, so let's start off with the sine graph. Okay, the sine graph is a graph that always starts from the point zero zero. So you would from here start, move up, move down again, and then move back again here. And you can see that this would reach a height of one and would reach a minimum value of negative one. We're talking about y equals to sine x. So let's label this our y-axis and this is our x-axis for this graph. Now there are specific points which are important for x. Remember x is in degrees, so this is going to be zero degrees. This is 180 degrees and this is 360 degrees and it will turn at 90 degrees and it will also turn at 270 degrees and that's a standard sine graph what we want to do is find out how the equation can change as we add and subtract values in so as we add and subtract values in on the right hand side and left hand side of the equation it can change accordingly let's start with the first transformation so y is equal to sine x and let's plus one okay that means we take all the values and we go up by one. What that will do is this graph will, every single value that was where it was, will move up by one. All right. In which case the graph would do that. And this would go up to one there. So it'll go all the way down there and it will turn there and then stop there. You can see the whole graph will be up. So I'm going to try and draw it neatly. So I've got a graph that's going to do something like that and it's going to turn back and stop just about there all right also my new central spot would be over there okay so the central value has also moved up this would be the graph of y equals sine x plus one for that all right so now what we're going to do is I am going to change or add another number in there. All right, I'm going to add another number in there. And this number is going to be, let's say, y equals to 2x, 2 sine x. So the number in front has now changed into 2. I've doubled the number. Okay, so I went from 1, I doubled it to 2. This is now the amplitude that has changed vertical stretch we're taking every previous y value and we're doubling it so zero times two is zero one times two is it's one over here will become two so let's just extend this line a little bit longer so we can have more space okay so i'm just going to extend this line a little bit longer so we can have a little space to work from so i'm doubling every value of y so if it was um, one it will become two now all right and it will start from zero right so this is going to be i'm going to use a black line to represent this so it's going to go up till there every y value so it's back to zero again because zero times two is zero and when it's negative one negative one times two is negative two so it's going to end up at the bottom here going back to zero again zero times two so we take all of these x values remember and keep it exactly the same because that's not necessarily um, changing or is it changing that's the question right so this is just an amplitude change this is an amplitude change over here it's a vertical stretch it's also known as a vertical stretch this here is known as a vertical shift going up so you got a vertical stretch vertical shift over here and now what you want to do is the next thing we want to put a number between the sign and the x so let's say we put two in front of the x like that i'm going to put this one in green remember the original graph is over here now i'm taking that original graph and now i am put a number in front of x which means every time i put a x value in there I have to double it or I have to half it actually to go back to the original. So let's say I put 180 in X. 
180 times 2 becomes 90. So when x is 180, it will actually be 90. So what have I actually done? I have shrunk my graph horizontally. So this is a horizontal change, all right? I'm going to call it a horizontal shrink. I'm bringing the values inwards. So this is now what is known as my period change. My graph is now shortened to 360 degrees divided by 2, which is 180 degrees. That means I'm going to finish a full cycle at that point already. I'm going to go up to 1 because that's the amplitude. So it's going to go from here up to 1, halfway, down to 90, back down there. So it's going to be something that looks like this. And you can see I finished the entire cycle in half the time. And I've changed it on what is known as the period. Okay.